In this program on hazardous materials identification, you have seen the nine hazard classes defined by the U.S. Department of Transportation, the DOT marking signs used in transporting hazardous materials, how to use the Emergency Response Guidebook, and a brief description of the NFPA 704 marking system. Hazardous materials at an incident present firefighters with a challenging and potentially complex scenario. Remember that these materials can explode, poison, corrode, ignite at room temperature, or cause radiation exposure, to name just a few of the potential hazards. The ability of the first response team to identify exactly what is involved in an incident is essential to protecting both the public and the environment in a hazardous materials emergency. Use the resources at your disposal to know before you go and make every response a safe response.